Welcome to Let's Talk B2B, the video series in which 25 B2B digital commerce experts get together and share interesting topics related to B2B e-commerce. We're very excited to hear top B2B expert Vasuki's take on strategy, competitive business models, and what it's like to work directly under Granger management. Let's Talk B2B. Hi, Fuzuki. Uh, great uh, being here at February. Uh, some questions. Um, of course, you're in the midst of developments in digital commerce, in the, in the environment of Grangers, the Amazon B2B, Zoro's, February. Wow, so you're an expert. Who's going to win the B2B commerce battle, the manufacturer or the wholesaler? Well, you know, I believe the manufacturers um, and distributors, they both add um, the unique value in the value chain. So I think a more important question would be, how are manufacturers and distributors going to win this battle together to make to deliver the best customer experience? So I don't think it's a better if um, it's a question if one or the other is going to win. It's more a question of how can manufacturers play their part and distributors play their part and win this battle together. So all these uh, CEOs in the boardrooms who are very, very worried, there's still a possibility to survive in the digital atmosphere there outside. Absolutely. No, digital is changing everything, but it gives the equal opportunity uh, to everyone. Uh, this is a field where everyone can win. That's the good news. Um, it's about how we work together, how quickly we adapt, how quickly we change. Uh, and we see so many examples of companies doing that well and still so much space for companies that can do this better. Well, we're going to zoom in that one a little bit later on, but right. still there's also new players, new players, new kids on the block, like Zorro, of course, but in the Netherlands we also had Zamro. Uh, Zamro recently got, you know, back to the mother company, Eriks. Yeah. Uh, what's the future of these new kids on the block in the digital atmosphere? So, um, you know, traditionally most B2B companies have been focused on driving relationships, personal relationships uh, between their customers and the companies themselves. Um, and delivering complex solution, getting right into the um, operational value chain of their customers and helping them. And you see now in um, more and more also customers, a different kind of audience, which doesn't want that, you know, broad line touch model, but more of um, just give me the, the service at a competitive pricing um, and I'll do business with you in my own terms. And the relationship is more digital, marketing and solutions driven, rather than that complex touch driven. So and in so these markets, there's an opportunity for the new players? Absolutely. I think there's a market, there's a market for the new players. There's even a market for the existing players to um, walk into that zone. It's, it's going to be a transformation for the existing ones. But for the newer players, it's a little bit more easier to gain that space. Um, so I don't think they conflict with each other. There's probably a gray zone in between but there's space for both of them to grow. And um, that's, I think, the evolution of the new generation and the new market. I know you as a very positive guy, you know, you see, you see opportunities instead of threats, yeah. but there are, of course, threats. You have to do something now if you're in the B2B world as a manufacturer of a wholesaler, right? Well, I think that's why it's very important to understand what this new market means to these companies. So what was um, guaranteed success in the past might not be the same um, anymore. And the new entrants, um, the more they're able to understand this market, the, the barrier to entry becomes lower and lower. So that should be a warning for the existing players. That should be a warning for the manufacturers to step up their game, understand the customers better, work closely with the distributors. So um, it is a warning, um, but there is still a lot of hope. And talking about opportunities now, we are here at February. Absolutely. Uh, I, I understand the robots are downside, yeah. downstairs. Yeah. And the See them oh, running. there's one moving. <laughs> okay, great. Um, but, okay, your, your mission now is to help February get to the next digital level, and yeah. you're already moving very fast. Yeah. Uh, tell me a little bit more about uh, February and the musings uh, yeah. you had uh, yeah. and you shared with the B2B Commerce Group. Absolutely. Um, so we are in the journey from, go, from the traditional wholesaler, quite successful at that, the traditional wholesaler, to be more a player who's driven by technology, by innovation, um, but also be the leader in the fastening solutions. And um, there's a big part of strategy that drives this piece, of course. Uh, and maybe, maybe there are some people who don't know, know what fasteners are. Well, uh, these are fasteners. They're in this box. They are part of it. So. 
you would be surprised to know we have around 120,000 types of fasteners. Right. So basically talking about nuts, bolts, screws, and whatever. So you're going to see a lot of them here. And there are so many different types. Um, we have two quality testing labs here. So we are the ones who can really guarantee quality around fasteners. We do a lot of testing ourselves. Uh, it's really certified. We're one of the few who does that. Um, so we, we are really about fastness. We breathe fastness. We've been there since 1947. So that's that's core of our business. And, and you're really successful. But explain the digital part of it. Right. So from a digital perspective, what we see around us is the, the customer whose needs are evolving. Whose needs are evolving from someone who would just call you once in a while and you would be able to help him to someone who wants to make more and more decisions himself. We are seeing also at the customer level more and more consolidation of how customers want to deal with their suppliers. So not just do you have to um, deliver to the customer what he needs, but also add value to that. And that's where digital helps us. So digitization for us is not just selling in a digital way. Digitization for us is an end-to-end -end process optimization. How can digital help us enhance our supply chain? How can digital help us enhance our ordering process, how can digital help us enhance the inventory process. So it touches, it touches the whole business. Literally everything. So we don't see digital, that's why we call it digital, it's not e-commerce for us, it's really digital for us. It's the it's a platform that we create to make um, make it easy for the customer to do business with us and that's how we want to lead the way there. So that's it's something not very, um, it's still something that's new for this industry and we're leading the way there. And there's many of these uh, industries there trying to find the right solution to, 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 to get digital moving their business. Do you have some advices for all these uh, viewers here? Right, so, um, well, these are still personal views, uh, and I know that it varies from company to company. Um, I think what's most important is to find out what is the main objective of how digitization is gonna move your company's strategy, right? In the main, the strategy comes first, what do you do from a digital perspective that can actually help your strategy? For us, it's clearly gaining efficiency, but also exploring new markets, uh, the reach that the digital provides to us. For us, it's also clearly about distribution being our core, and how can digital actually help our distribution and supply chain network um, to give us that advantage? How can it give us that barriers which will help prevent competition from getting in? So we use digital in different ways, and I think the most important message for me would be for everyone to think, what's the main objective that I go into digitization and how does it, a, how does, how is it gonna help my core strategy? How is it gonna strengthen what I exist as a company to do? Yeah, you were talking about the core, you know, the big oil tanker, many B2B companies are similar to that one. And if you keep treating digital like, you know, small speedboats getting out or a small experience on the bow on the star side, it's not going to change directing direction of the big tanker. No. So find a solution in doing explorative stuff and also changing course of the tanker, right? Absolutely. So the speedboats need to be aligned in a certain direction that you want the tanker to move. And in the tanker of February, is it shifting course already? Uh, I think for sure. We are in. Uh, it depends on which phase we are in. I think we are still in the the early phases where we have a lot of momentum in terms of aligning these speedboats and a clear direction. Um, you know, there's a lot of work to do. You don't change 70 years of heritage. Now, you, now you're year. being modest, uh, Fazuki. No, that's not fair. So it's, it's gonna be a journey. And I think, um, I'm hopeful that as we continue in this journey, we'll see a real transformation one day and um, we will be recognized as the one who made this big transformation happening in the fasting industry. Cool, one last question. Um, do you, if, if, if you're on the, bow and your uh, captain of the tanker how do you get this one moving do you, how do you get everybody moving in the digital right direction so the thing that we have realized um, um, the most is that change management is hard especially if you're a successful legacy company people forget that you become successful as a result of people understanding the best ways to do business and now the digital leaders just come and tell people, whatever you know is wrong, whatever you did is wrong, even though you were successful, you have to do something else. And that's the hardest change, to tell someone who's figured out how to work in the best possible way to do things differently is a hard thing. 
I think a big part of digital really is the leadership aspect. So um, the leadership needs to be driven top down and we need to understand where people are and explain the change to them. Um, technology is an important driver, but it's maybe not anymore the crucial driving factor. The crucial driving factor is the um, emotional quotient of digital leaders to drive this change in the business, get people to understand why this change is needed, even though they are very successful in doing what they're doing today. Yeah, if you as a leader are too far away from the ship, then you're not going to change the no. ship's course. Okay, Absolutely. right. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching this episode of Let's Talk B2B. And thanks Vasuki and team for an excellent B2B meetup. If you want to see more videos on B2B and e-commerce, make sure you check out our YouTube channel or become a member at our LinkedIn group, B2B Digital Commerce. See you next time.